Well, good morning, artists. I am showing you my James Rizzi inspired city that I created. I used his inspiration to make the buildings, putting faces on them, and then I just kind of created a little city here. Maybe even I'll come back later and draw some roads in here so that my characters can play in the city. And you'll notice that I have some of my favorite characters in here. But I want you guys to get inspired to create your own James Rizzi style buildings and maybe even build a city like mine. All right, let's so get the started. first thing you guys are going to want to do is look at some James Rizzi drawings and paintings. He actually does lots of different things. So he does paintings like this, but look at all the fun faces and designs that he puts on his buildings when he makes his cityscapes. He also, wrong one, he also actually painted actual buildings, which is pretty cool. And Notice all the bright colors he uses. And again, he does lots of whimsical things on here. Eyeballs, hearts, rain clouds, all different kinds of fun things to make his buildings look whimsical, creative, and cartoony. He also painted some cars. He does what we call three-dimensional paintings. But what we're going to do is we're going to create a building, a three-dimensional building based on his art. So some things you might use are tin cans. This would be great to wrap your building around so that then you have a three-dimensional building. Boxes. I told you guys to collect food boxes. So here's a food box. Just put a little piece of tape on there and then again you could wrap your design around there. But what if you don't have paper at home? What if you ran out of paper? Here's another thing you can do. Take the box, cut it, and this would even work if you don't have paper at home and you wanna draw something. Draw on food boxes. This is just a macaroni and cheese box, and then turn it inside out. So then I'm gonna fold it all the opposite way. And look at this. Now I can use some tape, tape those edges together, I don't even need paper now. Now I can just draw right on here and color this in. So if you don't have paper at home, use the box just inside out like that. And this is even just a great platform to use for drawing and coloring on. So once you've got a few boxes to create your buildings from, oh, you could even use toilet paper rolls or cans, then you're going to design your building. What I want you guys to think about are fun faces you can put on your building. I even made ears for my kitty cat here. And then shapes and patterns and designs to make it whimsical. All right, so what you're going to want to do is take your piece of paper and your box. And here's how I did it. I just took my paper, I lined it up on the bottom of the box, and then creased it around the edges of the box so then I knew where the corners were and then it's easier it was easier for me to draw it flat as opposed to gluing it or taping it to the box first and then drawing on the box I preferred doing it flat so once I had those creases then I just refolded them and then I got started on my design. Now the paper does not have to be the same length or height as the box. It can be taller than the box. And I like to have that little tab there because it made it easier for me to tape. So I have my four edges, one, two, three, four. But suppose your paper is not big enough to cover your box. That's okay. You can just do two or three edges. So just have one side that's full and then the other ones could be half a side because you just see that front of your box. We're at home, we're making do with what we have at home. So now I'm gonna start. I'm gonna use a black marker, or you could use a black crayon, you could use a pencil, you could use whatever you have at home to create. I'm gonna start with just doing a face. So I'm going to do some eyes up here. And again, we just wanna kinda of think cartoony. What might my 
house, city, box, building be saying? Maybe some lines here that look like teeth. They also look like windows. And then I'm gonna put a door down here and then maybe a heart right here and a circle there for like a window. And up here, I think I'm just gonna put some scallop shapes that might look like a roof. So I'm gonna continue this way until I get all four sides of my building design. Right. I got all my sides of my building created with some patterns, maybe some things that look like windows, different things on them. Now I'm gonna color them all in. Remember, we wanna use some of those nice bright colors. I like to start with the background first. And remember artists, when you color, go in the same direction. We're not going all scribble scrabble all over the place. I'm gonna color neatly going up and down or what I like to call vertically across my paper, going using the same pressure to create that unity of color. If you want it darker in one spot, push a little harder with your crayon. All right. Once you get it all colored in, then you will wrap it around your box. So what I like to do, you could use a glue stick, you could use wet glue, you could use tape doesn't matter. You know, if you don't even have glue or tape at home, you know what you could, could use too? A little bit of flour, warm water, and a pinch of salt. Mix it together in a little bowl. It kind of makes like paste or paper mache. And you could use that as glue. We're using all kinds of interesting tricks and tips to make art and things that will work for us when we are out side of our classroom. So I'm just going to use a little pinch of tape there. And once this is all colored in, then I have a nice three-dimensional building in the style of James Rizzi, who, by the way, is dead. He died in 2011. Very young. He was only 61 years old. But he left us with a lot of fun art to be inspired by. All right, have fun creating some three-dimensional buildings. And don't forget, artists, to post your cityscapes on the comments section. All right, happy arting.